Gaffer, obviously not the result you would have wanted today. What did you make of the performance? I thought we stuck in, and you know my favourite subject, there we go again, but mm. everybody's lining up to see the officials there. I just cannot, cannot believe that people of that quality are looking after football matches like that. You know, he's booked two players there, and the reason he's given us, he didn't know what two players was in, involved, so he booked them two, because they was in the melee. The two wrong players, Jake and the other fella, nowhere near it. The fella that should have got the book in, not one to get people booked, but be fair with it. And he's booked Nadders for diving. If Nadders didn't go over the fella's leg there, Nadders could have been in Red Hill Hospital today. Absolutely rubbish. And the thing is, we keep saying it, and it's not just me, mm. Matty, everybody. It's not just me. If nothing's done about this, why are people coming to pay to watch something like this that turns into a farce? An absolute farce. It's a shame because it spoiled what could have been such a great game. It could have been a great game. What, how play. much of an impact do you think it, it had on the massive game? Massive impact. That's a massive impact. To so get down to 10 men against a very, very good football inside. Uh, you know, it's just beggar's belief. It, it do make me wonder sometimes whether I just want to pack my bags, fly out to Mallorca and live in a little cave somewhere. And I think that's sooner rather than later because this is a shambles. This football, what they're dishing out official-wise, is a shambles. What was your view on the two goals that we conceded early in the second half? Um, two bad goals to give away from our point of view. Terrible goals. Same old story, but listen... I'm not making excuses for the lads, but you know we did put a shift in, and I was well pleased with. Obviously, Kwasi's got another goal. Um, the boys that come on done really well, but mm. your backs against the wall, and they rub you up the wrong way all the time. You know, Exeter are a good side. They, 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 even they was baffled by half of what was going on. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're ruining football, in my opinion. Yep. But you're not allowed to have an opinion. We just work in the game day in and day out. They turn up on a match day and think, walk around like they're little gods and you can't say anything. Everybody in the crowd has got an opinion, right? Everybody's got an opinion and we all know that they're supposedly trying their best. You're judged, we're judged on results. What are they judged on? What are they judged? Someone look at that and tell me a higher level of referee and tell me that that, that should have been after things that was going on. See you later. I'll be straight on to Palmer Airport, I think. I think one of the players who was really in the wars today was Kwesi Appiah. Really a lot of effort there. What did you uh, make of his application in the game today? All of them. Not singling anyone out. From Tony, right back, front to back. Yeah. Front to back. But once again, two bad goals to give away. Two terrible goals to give away. And we've got to start stopping that. And we thought Lynch would come on. I thought he'd done superb. Mm. Um, no, listen. It's one of them games. It's always going to be an hard game at Exeter. Always. Always going to be an hard game. But, you know, I think, keep 11 players on, and I think we would have given them a better fist of it. But we were still going right at the end, trying to score. That's all we can do. It was great to see Joel Lynch back. Obviously, how much will it mean to the squad to have him back involved? I think you saw that tonight. Mm. You know, I think everybody can tell you what a good player he is and the way that he just oozes class. Um, but once again, you know, I'm, I'm not frustrated tonight, and I know here we go again, I'm a fine and this, that. And it's not me, the fans, you know, they got, th th those of you that was here would, I think... I don't care whether people agree or disagree with it. I'm not really giving monkeys. All I'm concerned about is we could have had players out, uh, out there. There was a time Quezzy, the geezer's gone over the top on him and he hadn't even stopped playing. He's lying there. And, you know, and then you're booking... <laughs> uh, anyway, but all you do. I ain't got, I've got to save me money to get to New York and there, and I? So I'm <laughs> saying nothing. <laughs> Gaffer, thanks for talking. No problem. Quezzy, that's a really tough one to take. You know, the lads really dug in tonight, but unfortunately it wasn't our night. What was your general assessment of the game? I think we, we was well in the game, you know, and um, you know once we got the goal, I felt like yeah, this was our this was our night to go ahead and, and get some more. And um, you know, unfortunately, the ref sort of changed the game. You know, it was it was looking like shaping up to be a good one, and um, unfortunately, we've gone down to ten men, and obviously that's changed things. Um, but we dug in and uh, we fought to the end, and unfortunately, it just you know went went against us. Yeah, and I think as you've just highlighted there, and the gaffer said the same thing as well. I think you know we're not. A pushing any blame to anyone but that incident you know it ruined what would have been a really really good game competitive game of football obviously we had just gone ahead you know extra had their moments in the first half where they were really pressurizing and it looked like it was gonna be a really good competitive game but that you know that incident just changes everything doesn't it yeah I mean at the end of the day the refs sort of knows he's already on the yellow card I don't even think he's close enough to know really what happened so I think you've got to just let that go you know and let, you can't be given a second yellow for that so 
I mean, I don't want to sit and moan about the ref because we still got, you know, another 45 minutes or so to play. So with a 1-0 lead, you know, we, we would have hoped to have at least held on to something and even took a point. So from that point of view, I felt like we were still in the game, even when they scored early in the second half. And um, yeah, just unfortunate in the end. And obviously, one of the rare positives to take from tonight is that you're actually OK. You, and we've just said before there. I think three or four, you know, outrageous challenges yeah. where you've just been absolutely put to the deck. It's a miracle how you're not walking away on crutches. I mean, it was one of them games, weren't it, where the ref could have could have given you know something for us in in, in that situation. Um, unfortunately, he said to me he didn't see a couple of them, and, and to me that's a bit baffling because you know if you're watching the ball, I'm right where the ball is, so I don't, I don't really understand they can do that. But again, I don't want to make it about the ref, but it is disappointing, um, you know, the, the the way we were sort of handled in the game, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy that I've come out of it in one piece. And obviously another goal for yourself, you know. It's always happy on a personal note, but then I suppose it's obviously, you know, the result obviously does put a down on it, but you must be pleased to, you know, add another goal to your tally and prove to the gaffer why you should be in the team. Yeah, um, it's a frustrating one really because you don't want to score and lose. You want to score and it means something and it counts for, you know, some points for the team and stuff like that. So, um, again, it's, it's obviously nice to keep the tally going, but at the same time, I'd want it to count for something for the team. So, um, yeah, bittersweet. And obviously we've touched on it a lot in this interview, but the fans were, you know, brilliant and they saw how much the lads did dig in tonight. You know, nobody gave up, you know, despite even after going down to three, we're still trying to go and grab another one late on, even, you know, probably knowing that it would be nothing more than a consolation. And those fans will be right behind us at Scunthorpe on Saturday as well. Absolutely. You know, they're very vital for us. You know, home is, is obviously where we need them to, to get behind us massively. And we do have a good away following as well. So um, we do aim to do them proud. And, and as you said, we fought to the end, right to the end. And they pushed us on, you know, to keep fighting. So with 10 men it's always a tough shift so they gave us that extra boost and we, and we got through it in the end and, and as you said we tried to push on for a few more goals Crazy, thanks for talking no problem thank you